Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Kyle. I'm going to be showing you how to export your model from Rhino to Revit. Rhino is this great tool for creating some crazy and awesome designs, but sometimes we want to make it a bit more realistic and we want to put it into Revit so we can document it and we can start detailing some of those finer construction things. So I'm going to show you how to export your model from Rhino to Revit right now. Let's get into it. So here I've got my Rhino model. It's pretty basic. I've just got my site model and then a couple of different various buildings around the place nothing special and I want to bring it into Revit so that it's something like this because that way we can create some documentation sets from it we can create the site plans the elevations the detailing of this actual building which we wouldn't be able to do if we were just using Rhino having a workflow across multiple programs is definitely going to be helpful if we want to export this model the first thing you're going to do is make sure your model is clean in Rhino you can create some pretty crazy geometries and some pretty crazy surfaces with different meshes and a whole lot of different nerves curbs but the thing is if you create a model that's way too complicated or more complicated than it needs to be then it's not going to import into Revit properly and I actually had this issue when creating this design here and it just caused a whole lot of headaches so what you want to do is make sure your model simplified and you can do this by rebuilding lines that have way too many control points or you can do it by rebuilding surfaces with way too many control points so I'm about to sneeze no oh, it's going away I think we're alright. And the second idea behind exporting from Rhino to Revit is to make sure that you're not exporting your whole model just as one model. You want to try and break up the site from the surrounding buildings to, you know, the different shapes and surfaces that are going on inside your actual building. You want to separate all the furniture from the rest of the model. You want to separate the walls and the floors and the roofs just so you can easily manipulate them in Revit and it just makes transferring your model a whole lot cleaner and smoother. So once you've made sure that all your lines are connected, you've rebuilt your control points and you've made sure your model is clean and nicely grouped up and layered, then you can start to export it into Revit. So let's say I want to start exporting this piece of geometry here which is the grid shell structure that surrounds the building. What we want to do is go file export selected or you can just type in export and Revit's actually quite good. You can actually save your model as a 3D Rhino 6 model, a .3DM file type and it will actually accept this file type if your model is clean. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to my desktop and just call this file or just whatever F8E that sounds pretty good to me and you can go ahead and just save your file as is. If Revit doesn't let you import your Rhino model straight as a 3DM file type then it's because you've got issues with your file and it might just be a matter of going through and it can be a bit tedious but you just got to make sure that your file is clean, you've rebuilt all your control points and you've made sure that it's not over complicated. When exporting from Rhino make sure you're in a 3D view or a perspective view otherwise if you're in one of these other views it might not work properly. So I've just opened up a new Revit file. What I want to do is actually go into a 3D view again. What you want to do is hit insert import CAD. Unfortunately you can't link CAD files from Rhino as in the .3dm files. What that would mean is that you can import your file straight from Rhino to Revit and then any changes you make on that file from within Rhino it will automatically update it in your Revit file. That would be really cool but unfortunately not available just at this moment. Now I'm just going to go find where I saved all of these. I'm making sure that my files of type is under Rhino files .3dm. I'm going to import it as a generic model and then I'm just going to go ahead and select the ones that I want to import and this could take some time depending on the size of your Rhino file so you really want to make sure that your file size is kept to a minimum. I love waiting for programs to work. Mm. Ooh. I can't juggle. <laughs> Just hit my nose. Let me know in the comments, do you know how to juggle? I'd be impressed if you do. Okay, so the issue we've had here is that it says Revit cannot import some of the geometry. This result can be caused by various issues with the source file. However, if we scroll out, we can see that it actually has imported the file, but it's just giving us a bit of an issue because this model is not super clean. What this means for me is that I would probably go back into Rhino and remake these models into a bit more cleaner, uh, less poly 
whatever you want to call it just more simplified models but at the moment for my project this was not an issue I just went ahead and started inserting and importing every single file and it just showed up straight away so I can go ahead and just keep importing these some of them may take longer depending on the size of them but I will get back to you once they're all imported and so the good thing about this is that it's going to be adding everything in at the same origin point so they're all going to be um, in the right spot in relation to each other and you can just go ahead and keep on uh, inserting them and it's not going to be problematic in the sense that they're all stacked on top, top of each other or they're all in random places. I've found that if yours doesn't import properly you can try exporting it from Rhino as a .3ds or a .skp, so a SketchUp file, that sometimes can fix it, but it really comes down to just having a clean model. And so that is pretty much everything I want imported. As you can see, my files running a bit slow because these are just extremely complicated pieces that don't need to be complicated, but there you have it. That's how you import from Rhino to Revit. It's as easy as that. Just make sure you're saving your files as a .3dm. You're going to insert, import, CAD and Bob's your uncle you have a Rhino model inside of Revit and now you can start doing some documentation and you can start detailing up your building so that it looks like it can actually be built rather than just being some crazy form you built in Rhino so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video if you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future content like this great video here make sure you press that button to the uh, whatever you call that down below and then there are some other videos to the side here if you want to check them out thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next episode take care guys